Hey guys, so I was bored one day and found out about this new fad called poems. I decided I would read some to you that were particularly fun. Here we go. To Kate, Skating Better Than Her Date by David Daches. Wait, Kate. You skate at such a rate. You leave behind your skating mate. Your splendid speed won't you abate? He's lagging far behind you, Kate. He brought you on this skating date. His shy affection thus to state, but you on skating concentrate. And leave him with a woeful weight. Pressed on his heart. Oh, what a state. A man gets into, how irate. He's bound to be with life and fate. If, when he tries to promulgate, his love, the loved one turns to skate. Far, far ahead to demonstrate. Superior speed and skill. Oh, hate. Is sure to come of love. Dear Kate, if you so treat your skating mate. Turn again, Kate. Or simply wait. Until he comes, then him berate. Coyly for catching up so late. For, Kate. He knows your skating's great. He's seen your splendid figure eight. He is not here to contemplate. Your supersonic skating rate. That is not why he made the date. He's anxious to expatiate. On how he wants you for his mate. And don't you want to hear him, Kate? This one's really good, though it isn't very long. Stairs by Oliver Herford. Here's to the man who invented stairs. And taught our feet to soar. He was the first who ever burst. Into a second floor. The world would be downstairs today. Had he not found the key. So let his name go down to fame. Whatever it may be. Here's a rather famous nonsense poem. The Purple Cow by Gellert Burgess. I never saw a purple cow. I never hoped to see one. But I can tell you anyhow I'd rather see than be one. What most people do not know is that he wrote a sequel after the first had acclaimed great fame. Ah yes, I wrote The Purple Cow. I'm sorry now I wrote it. But I can tell you anyhow. I'll kill you if you quote it. Kill me Jellet I don't deserve life anymore as a great womanizer, not, it is often thrown upon me how wonderful Paris would be. I managed to find many poem explaining why it was great, however, after much searching, I did find one that explained my feelings on the subject. Unromantic Song by Anthony Broad. Wouldn't it be wonderful to come across in Cabaret, a continental singer with a novel point of view, that helped to differentiate his act from every other act. Suppose he sang, for instance, when provided with his cue. Paris is simply disgusting, nobody's said it before, but the intro is rusting, the Louvre needs dusting, the women are plain and, I'm sick of the sany and, it smells like a drain and, in fact I find Paris a bore. Text2speech.org, what the heck are you doing here? Never mind me, just continue the poem. Very well, it might be unromantic. But it would be so refreshing if a girl could be discovered who refused to overrate the glamour of the capital and, seizing up a microphone, would glower at the audience and confidently state, I detest Paris in springtime, in winter and summer and fall, her pleasures by deepest instinct time. A verse too. My views were succinct time. So bored by La Ville Lumiere. S.E.S. Beastress. S.E.S. Boys. S.I. Shares. That I'm forced to confess I don't care age suit for the city at all. Okay, who the heck is this? She is my friend. You don't deserve friends. Just, Just finish, finish the poem, poem you blathering idiot. idiot. Fine. Surely in the business there breeds an impresario who seeks a reputation that will never be surpassed by booking an attraction which involves a choir admitting that the first time they saw Paris they resolved to make their last. Okay, now that all that is done I think I'll go kill someone now. Goodbye, Zdafx, Zdafx, Tufi, Zahistai, Yaktis, Rejjagftate, Radfjfg.